Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box below this video. <clears throat> in the description box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you guys. So let's get into this. So take a look and see what the messages are from the time you're listening to this reading through February. Okay, you're starting with girl with a snake, empath, and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used, enable boundaries. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on here. Okay, girl with a snake. All right, let's see. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Okay, two people. One's an empath, one's a narcissist. Okay. What does spirit want you to know here, Virgo? What is going on? If somebody's really sneaky. Okay. King of Wands, looks like. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person likes a lot of attention. Could be. Leo Aries, Sag, likes a lot of attention, bit of a risk taker. Okay, um, masculine or feminine. So, Virgo, it feels like there's someone here who just is very immature, okay? Um, now, there's a snake, maybe there's a snake connection. I don't know, let's give me that old Vit Brittany VMA video. Remember where she had that snake? cobra thing around her i don't know <laughs> very attractive person um very daring action oriented kind of individual likes to be on top a lot like seeks a lot of praise and attention all right so virgo um i don't know if this is someone that you are already connected with but there looks like this person um, it could be somebody new coming in because the Ace of Cups is here. So this could be a new love. But it looks like this person um, is going to make some kind of new, kind of a new love start with you in this time period. Um, now, usually the Ace of Cups is like a blessing. I don't know if that's a blessing. Um, and I'm not sure if, you know if some which one is the empath like there's some kind of dance here between two people this might not even be you this could be someone you're connected to that is having this energy like this energy is playing out with them them and another person okay but i do see like there's some kind of new ace of cups a new beginning new romantic new love start here with a king of wands oh okay so i feel like the way these cards are coming out like you got to be a little careful here because there's some deceit with this person cheating lying deception sneaking around what a way to start a reading okay so this person whether it's a male or a female whatever they are um there's some connection to a snake with this person and they are like not they sneak around to get attention I don't feel like I don't know, spirit just is kind of I feel like they're giving you a warning about this person um, yeah this person like slips away they sneak around yeah there's like oh my gosh it is such a contrasting reading because I feel like like there's there's like a love dance here between you and this person, but you got to like, I feel like you need to know, okay, whether you are Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, you need to know that this person, um, I don't know if they lack boundaries or what the deal is with them. Um, they're charming. They have a tendency You know, it's like a dance between two people. There's like enabling that happens. Then there's like boundary issues. Then there's like, like maybe there's turn, taking turns with between this um, selfishness and then this codependent kind of energy. Someone then is being very charming and then they're claiming being used. There, there's like a whole lot of hard to tell who, like who is 
if you're talking to this person, they might tell you that they were with someone that was like a snake. And the person they were with was a narcissist. And they became very codependent. Um, or they're very narcissistic and telling you that their other person was like very, um, like, just like an empath. Or, I don't know if that's an admittance about, but somebody here has got a lot of, Like, I'm hearing there's a conversation you might have with this person where they tell you all this negative stuff about the past person that they were with, or if they're currently with someone, okay? Yeah, I feel like you need to be careful, because even though the Ace of Cups and the Lovers is here, I feel like you just need to tread carefully, with this this connection with this person whether you're already involved with them already or that you meet them or you're connecting with them and turns into a love relationship for some it's a leo okay gemini energy as well <coughs> this person seems to be like very strong they have all right i'm just going to put it together because like i can't there is definitely a breakup, heartbroken. There's a breakup here and there's a twin flame connection. This might be a relationship that you have with someone or that you're having with someone where either you or they are going through a breakup. It is 100%. It feels very like not maybe 90%. It feels like a fire sign. And it feels like this person is your twin flame. Okay okay there's um like you two are meant to be to like come together but this person has like self-esteem issues or they're very insecure or they play the victim why are you being presented with this energy virgo okay five of pentacles in the reverse this person is struggling and you I, I feel like they kind of look at you like you are someone that they can <clears throat> get themselves together with. Does that make any sense? Because, you know, Virgo, typically you're the very stable energy, um, responsible, routine. You take care of the things you need to take care of. You're logical. You think about stuff. You know what I mean? Like you... You organize things. And this person doesn't seem to be that way. They're very action-oriented. So, like, their feet first before their head. <laughs> you know, they just, even with the fool, they act foolishly. They, they take wild, go on wild adventures. They take risks. Um, they might be someone that does get a lot of attention or that they have maybe a, an element of fame. Or maybe in their own mind they think they're famous and they're not. You know, but there's a lot of like, this person comes in as a wounded warrior. They're heartbroken. Like they're, they must be going through some kind of a breakup. And there is, there's something about the two of you. I have to say with this twin flame card, you know, twin flames are always these like difficult lessons to be learned. <sighs> Maybe you already have an attachment or you're engaging with them already. But I feel like you need to just understand. I feel like this person is pretty, um, maybe learning how to put their boundaries up. And they're just a bit like trying to gain strength as they're going, like feeling heartbroken or as they're going through some kind of breakup. They might be dependent on you or calling you all the time and trying to get strength. You know, or reaching out to you about their breakup. Or talking to you about it. Mm. Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? So, this person has not much to offer to you right now. It looks like um, it's going to take time before they're able to offer anything to you if you want it. So, maybe you're just being a friend to them. Um, they may not be a narcissist, though. They might be an empath. And they might be very, like, they, they lack, like, um, confidence in themselves. They're trying to get it, but they, they lack it. Maybe they're reaching out to you to try to get a boost. 
as they go through. That's mostly what I feel like this is, as they're going through some kind of breakup with someone. They're reaching out to you. They're talking to you. They may admit that they've messed around or cheated. They might be trying to... Like, but what is, I feel like there's, it's not just because they want to talk to you. It's not just because they need your therapeutic help. Because the lovers is there with the twin flame and the ace of cups. I feel like this person wants to have some kind of love relationship with you. That's what it looks like here. But it's going to take a while. The Knight of Pentacles, this person's not rushing in to try to make that happen with you. Okay, so, hmm. I feel like they're trying to, they're definitely trying to get, like, kind of on their feet financially, maybe, or get completely single. I don't, I, I'm wondering, if, if, leave a comment if this is resonating for you, if you have someone in your life who's doing this, because this feels like they want to kind of get away from this relationship that they're in and come to you. But I want to see your energy, Virgo. What is your energy? What is Virgo's energy with this person? Okay, you have the Two of Swords. <clears throat> you have the Hermit and you have Justice. So if you're already dealing with this person on a friend level or... It's all they all, you know, like you can all you already know they're trying to have a romantic kind of thing with you. I kind of feel like you're just trusting your intuition and your gut, you're trying to be fair. Um, but you are withdrawn, so you're not you don't look to be ex very available for this person. Okay, you could be on the cusp of Virgo and Libra, but you don't look like you're available. Okay, um. You you look like you you're undecided, or you're just in the process of deciding and really thinking about like, all right, what is best for me? What is the right thing for me to do? Okay, um, what's going to work out in my favor? Okay, because it looks like you you want like that happily ever after with someone, <clears throat> but you might not want to be getting involved with someone that's currently going through a breakup. I kind of feel like. You're content and happy with where you are here in your life. Because, um, you know, you can you can bump in your twin flame and they could be, in this scenario, um, going through some kind of breakup or ending something with someone. Um, but I feel like the person that's ending something with someone, they think everyone's a narcissist. <laughs> They do, like, instead of just kind of taking a look at themselves and taking accountability for their own behavior. So they're running to you, not just because they're having a difficult time with their person that something's ending with, but because they, they like, they're going from the, fry, the frying pan into the fire. I do feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, they are trying to get themselves to be single, so to speak. But they're not, I don't really feel like they're taking some time out for themselves. You know what I mean? And you might hear, it looks like you, you might already know that. And you're just kind of keeping your distance a little bit with the Hermit. Just isolating yourself a little bit from this. Because maybe you don't want to get involved. Yeah, I just kind of feel like... I don't know. You're, you're kind of thinking about it, though. You're, like, you're not fully undecided. You're just thinking about it, you know? Like, what what am I going to do here? What should I do? How should I handle this? Yeah, you have, like, some distance about the whole thing. Like, I kind of feel like your thing here is, well, you know, if this is going to work out, or if this is something that's meant for me, I'm not going to chase it. It's just going to come. It's just going to come. But with the water being in between these two continents for some of you it could be at a long distance with this person but with the water being in between you it's kind of like you're not swimming across that river to them they're gonna have to swim across the river to you yeah hmm how does virgo feel about this person Virgo's feelings. Okay. 
So I feel like you, 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 you have mild feelings towards them. It's not anything to write home about. Um, I do feel like they want to be with you, though. Um, you know, they're it's so it's weird. It's kind of like it's kind of like they're talking to you to maybe try to have you tell them that they need to dump their person. Like if you were to tell them that, then they would say, "Okay, I'm going to do it as long as I know I'm coming to you, Virgo." Right? And I, maybe you will. Maybe you do. Maybe you tell them, yeah, that person you're with is like, they're using you or they're, you know, and you're enabling things with them, that kind of thing. I feel like um, this is a very confusing reading <laughs> because it's not confusing. I just want to say it feels very complex, you know. Um, there's a little bit of like it's fluid and it feels like it might change a lot, a lot of shifting stories happening here you know i feel like this person is talking to you secretively or will be talking to you secretively about their 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 issue but they want you to open the door for them to let them come in and be with you okay um and i feel like in some ways you probably would be happy with that like you would be okay with that but there's other surrounding circumstances i feel like it's because this person is in the midst of going through a heartbreak or a breakup and part of you is like okay well yeah that's fine we can get together but then on on the other hand it's like but wait maybe that's too soon you know what i mean hmm so Maybe you talk to this person and you enjoy talking to them. Maybe you're trying to help them or give them some direction in their life. Uh, you might not even realize that this person has feelings for you or wants to be with you. If they haven't said it, I do feel like that's the case. And I do feel like the actions that they're taking going through this breakup is because they want to be with you. Okay? Because they feel some kind of... Uh, that connection of the twin flame although they may not even know that it's that type of a connection but they feel the similarity the yin the yang you know um you guys being kind of on the same page like you complement each other i can't tell you for sure if this person is a narcissist and their person's an empath or vice versa I, because it's a dance and they might take turns i mean everybody has narcissistic traits that's just a human thing it doesn't make someone a full-blown npd that needs diagnosis and tarot cannot give you that diagnosis um you would have to know that for sure you know so i if i can't figure it out like they're just not gonna they're just gonna lean with some traits here all right so let's take a look and see like the outcome of this situation going further into the future what is the outcome for Virgo? Oh, Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Cups. My goodness. Um, hmm. And the King of Cups. What the? What's going on? There's three people showing up here. All right, we're going to break this up. We are going to... I know that for some of you this isn't going to resonate. So this might not be your reading tonight. It might resonate for someone. Okay. This has got me completely like what the hell is going on okay so let me tell you what the and i don't know how it connects to what i just saw here in these messages but let me give you an outcome that i'm picking up here there is a, a leo which looks like it's a very positive connection if not 
Yeah, no, they're saying a Leo. There's a very positive connection with a Leo going forward in your life, okay? I don't know if this is connected or not. They're not telling me. I'm not picking it up. They're just saying just give them the outcome. So there's a Leo where there's long-term security, happiness, joy, um, well, uh, financial stability, um, so, uh, a solid... Uh, even marriage or a solid commitment with, with a Leo is what I'm hearing. Okay. Now I'm also picking up. There's there's a water sign, female, who may have ghosted or is non-committal and now, is now changing their mind about that. Now they're coming in with a love offer. A water sign, female. Okay. And then there's a King of Cups, which is a water sign male, who is coming out of their comfort zone and is going to lay their cards out, of the, out on the table and try to manifest something with you. Okay. So the outcome to the original message has nothing to do with the original message because I kind of feel like from now through the end of well into February it's this thing going on with this king of wands is going to last that long it's going to take it's going to stay like this you know um so basically they're not giving you an outcome for that it's just going to like if you listen to the original message see there's a sign if you're listening to this original message on February 23rd it's going to still be the same as of right now because this person, this King of Wands, is going through some kind of shift or change and trying to break something up and it's going to take a long time. That's why the Knight of Pentacles was there because it's, it's just going to be, it's slow. Okay, so I feel like with that scenario, maybe just kind of leave it <laughs> alone. Um... If you're talking to this person or if they reach out to you and they're trying to ask you to help them as it goes through the breakup while they try to get into your love life as a partner, um, I don't see them rushing to do this, okay? Um, but these three other people that are showing up here, these might be um, other options for you. Okay, so depending on which sex you prefer, you can just apply it, all right? Um, but there's other options. I hope that wasn't too confusing. Whenever I do a reading and they just throw out these different court cards, then we've got like a, we've got like a whole <laughs> drama session going on. So I kind of feel like if you are keeping your options open and you're single and you're not doing anything, you're dating or other people are showing up into your life, that's what's going to happen with that, these last three outcome cards, okay, where I clarified. But as far as like this this initial reading, this one person, it's a, it's, there. there's something there, but I almost feel like if, it's too uh, so they're saying it's too early to take the the turkey out of the oven. It has to it has to cook a bit more. Does that make any sense? I'm making no sense. It has to cook more, okay? Um, because I feel like so I don't know. Maybe you're giving some like therapy to somebody, or you're trying to be a friend, and you don't realize that this person has more of an interest in you than just friendship, okay? So they're. Yeah, it's going to take a while. There's some kind of distance between you and this person. So it's either actual distance, like we saw with the Three of Wands there, or it's just emotional distance. It's like not time for that energy to evolve. Okay, let's move on. I want to get a couple more cards. Let's see what your messages of love energies are here. Okay, true love. So the, this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. All right. Well, it's your true love. Whoever your true love is, it it, it is a true love connection. doesn't have to be anybody here. If, if you just came here and you're like, I don't, I'm not, there's no one specific I'm interested in, but you have a true love in your heart, um, 
that is your true love if you know who i'm talking about okay time apart some distance will help bring clarity so yeah uh you and this original person i feel like a little distance um I, spirit's saying just don't rush in with this person because they haven't transitioned out of what's going on with them quite yet that's that's almost like an advice and you have acceptance everything happens for a reason so you know i don't know exactly what the reason is why this person you know why spirit's bringing you a twin flame that's not ready but there is something uh that you need to know <laughs> you might be in denial you need to detach with love to clearly see the truth about the connection and then the relationship deserves a second chance so for some of you this is someone that you could have been in a relationship with before and you guys broke up and they got with someone else and that person turned out to be a narcissist and now they're trying to come back but they're not coming back fully and i think part of it is because they don't know how you feel maybe you haven't expressed your feelings or your love to this person okay so they're they want to be with you though that original that king of wands masculine or feminine okay you also have play hard find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other you know keep it simple virgo that's what i feel keep things very simple don't read into anything with anybody at this time in your life just have fun laugh goof off don't take life too seriously and care less about things that way you'll be more happy and you will be getting an apology from someone also during this time period if you're expecting one you will hear one um you've also got different pages you and a particular person don't share the same vision okay i don't know who exactly that might be it could be with a past life love right maybe you guys were on different pages before and now Maybe things are changing with that. Okay, and leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. So your advice here with the first person is basically don't, you know, it's, it's iffy getting involved with someone that is going through a breakup because you don't know. They could wind up fixing things. Uh, it could just be reactionary or someone just like, when someone's done, they're done and then they generally take a little time out for themselves before they get involved again um but not always sometimes people break up on wednesday and then they meet someone on friday and then that's the love of their life happily ever after like i can't really say but rebounds rebounds happen so you want to protect yourself right you don't want to get yourself involved with someone that there's a chance that they're just rebounding to heal their heart um to be with and will be with you to get that healing instead of going to a counselor or a therapist or something um sometimes people do that don't want to be alone there might be somebody here that just cannot they just don't like being alone let's see what the chinese sign is of this king of wands or you or both of you all right starting with year of the rat year of the dog year of the ox year of the tiger i have a rat again year of the goat year of the pig year of the rabbit pig again and a snake ending it with a snake we started it with a snake now we're ending it with a snake okay let's get some initials and birth dates and oh okay so you do have a salamander here that just flew out salamander is the aries so for some of you this could be an aries that this reading is about okay all right someone is 42 someone's born september 2nd someone's 57 we have the initials a e and o someone's born in 1989 Okay, we got a September birthday. That would pretty much be all of you. Someone's born in 1976. We have the initial C. All right, September 3rd is showing up here. We also have a Gemini. So this could be with a Gemini. We have a Sagittarius. 
This could be with a Sag. And Capricorn. So it could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. So when I call out the King of Wands, just know if, if, you under, if you resonate with this reading, but your person's not a fire sign, this could just be the energy of them, right? Where they're, they're very like um, taking action, you know, energized, energetic. Even if your person is like a, a slow Taurus <laughs> who just doesn't really take action, they're generally very um, locked and stubborn and they don't move. It could still be the energy of them at this time where they're just ready to like find somebody else because it doesn't really matter what sign someone is. Whenever they fall for someone, everybody gets energized, right? It's just the way it goes. All right, someone's birthday is in March. We have September 22nd. Oh, first it was the letter J and then the letter H. You have a Q and a V. And is there any other? I just heard hey, hey, Javier, J, like J-A-V-I-E-R, Javier, or Jose, or Jim, James. 1964, or someone is 64, the age 35. We have, oh, okay, so they said to give you some phone numbers, so let me give you last four digits of a phone number. 4536 8773 7163. Okay, and they said to keep going. So 6963 9636 9636. You can switch these numbers up if you need to. They just said. Um, seven four nine zero five six three four. They just said, okay, <laughs> they want more. Six eight six three. Uh, eight nine seven four. Wow, we're getting a lot of numbers here, you guys. Let's see what else? I don't even really do these that much. All right. 5967, 3679, and 7464. Okay. <laughs> I don't often do those those numbers. Um, now they're giving me age 59. Someone's born in 67. Um, did I say September 4th? Because if not, August 23rd. And someone's born in 74. All right. And now they just said another initial. They have the letter I. I'm getting Ivan again, or Eve. Okay. And September 12th. Someone's birthday is September 12th. We're born on September 12th. Okay. And we have a Y and a V. Or a VY. Vi. Someone's vying for your attention in this month. Another, they said another initial. Yep, and we got J again. So there's a J and I again. All right, you guys. So I know this was short, but I'm just going to leave that there. I feel like this is a little bit of, hey, this is what's going on and here's your advice. But I also feel like you have an outcome for a totally different scenario. So if the first message isn't resonating with you as far as like this person reaching out to you and you know, asking your advice or help with a breakup. If that's not happening, um, then there is an energy of, like if none of that resonates, then you do have an outcome with there's three different people. So if you are a person like that Virgo who's dating and you have other options, um, I feel like I just told you what the options are, like what's going on with those people. And please forgive me. I'm really sorry that this these messages went like kind of sideways. It doesn't usually happen. They're usually pretty cohesive. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of energies coming out here in this reading. Um, you know, even if this first reading, that person, that King of Wands is not seeking your advice, I will say that they do... Uh, see a future with you like a romantic future with you no matter what is going on with them um, like I feel like that person is hoping that there's going to be you two ending up together but you know 
it's uh, it, it looks to me like you're more along the lines of like I'm not sure I'm not sure keeping my options open I don't know um, it's too soon for that or something but if you didn't know that this person was interested in you and more than just leaning on you um, to help them through something well now you know yeah there's definitely more all right so I'm gonna leave that there short and simple tomorrow I will be back with your weekend reading so please do book a reading if you want a personal reading with me you can book a text reading or you can just book a phone call reading i've reduced my prices because we're all broke right now <laughs> after the holidays and the way the world's going um yeah and and please 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 hit like and subscribe at least hit the like button on your way out because that pushes the video up through the algorithm um even if you don't like it if you could just do me a solid that would be so great <laughs> All right, you guys, so have a great night, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things, um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.